Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by Hyundai, new thinking, new possibilities. Hello and welcome to a brand new week of AutoLine Daily, where the news seems to be related to safety items and mild styling changes. Nissan is the first automaker to offer a video screen mounted where the inside rear view mirror usually sits, in this case on a Nissan Rogue. It uses an LCD screen that's fed by a camera mounted on the back of the Rogue. Actually, the system allows the driver to toggle back and forth between a mirror or the video feed. But Nissan says the camera provides a wider, more unobstructed view than what you get with the mirror. Nissan says that on future models, this system will give designers more freedom because they will not have to compromise their designs or move parts of the structure that can block rear view visibility. And in other Nissan news, the company took the wraps off the 2015 Versa sedan. The biggest change is the front end styling, which now resembles other passenger cars in Nissan's lineup. Interior upgrades include a new center stack, steering wheel, and Bluetooth hands-free phone capabilities. It goes on sale later this week with a starting price just under $13,000. Volkswagen revealed a concept version of the Golf Sport Wagon, which goes on sale early next year. But as you can see from the photos, it looks production ready to us. The wagon is built on the company's MQB modular architecture and is lighter than the current model, despite being a little longer and wider. Two powertrains will be offered, a 1.8 liter turbocharged four-cylinder that can be mated to a five-speed manual or six-speed automatic. The other engine is a two liter turbocharged diesel that can be matched to a six-speed manual or a dual clutch transmission. Volkswagen also refreshed the design of the Jetta but you wouldn't know it from just looking at the pictures. The interior also features mild trim updates. Customers have a variety of powertrain options, including three gasoline engines, a 1.4 liter turbo hybrid, and a new two liter turbocharged diesel. In fact, the diesel Jetta is the first in the US to use the company's modular diesel design. Speaking of facelifts, Chevrolet just unveiled a new front fascia for the cruise. And while it is an improvement over the current design, it doesn't quite nail it. To us, the Chevrolet Studio seems to be struggling to figure out what its front end should look like. We think that the best looking examples of what Chevy's trying to achieve can be found on the Impala and the Traverse. We told you that Volvo would be getting back to its safety routes, and it is, but it may not be in the area that you might expect, child safety seats. This idea was thought up at the automaker's Monitoring and Concept Center in Los Angeles and features an inflatable design that can pump up in less than 40 seconds and then be deflated to fit in a backpack. The material was originally designed by the military for an inflatable airplane and so it can handle high internal pressures. Hey, speaking of the New York Auto Show, don't forget we got a crew going there. We're going to be interviewing a number of executives and we're interested in asking them your questions. Three of those executives include Mark Fields, the COO at Ford, Pierre Luan, the head of product planning for Nissan North America, and Michael Sprague, the head of sales for Kia Motor America. If you've got some good questions that you would like us to pose to these executives, shoot them on over to viewer mail at autoline.tv. We'll pick out the best questions and get them answered. Hey, do those low gloss paint jobs help or hurt the look of a car? That's coming up next. Proven on the track and on roads around the world, Borg Warner turbochargers improve fuel economy and reduce emissions without sacrificing performance. Borg Warner, official turbocharger supplier to the IZOD IndyCar Series. On AutoLine After Hours last week, we were joined by Chris Svensson, who's Ford's design director for the Americas. We had a wide-ranging discussion about design, but one question I asked him was how satin finishes, or what the Germans call frozen finishes, can affect the design of a car. Here's what he had to say. I'm 
are very you know keen on alternative finishes and paints and, and I think you know I think that brings a new um, when you look at surfaces in high gloss sometimes you lose the the detail the, well you lose the you lose the essence of the surfacing you know um, especially when light it gets distracted um, and, and some of the matte surfaces actually highlight the surfaces and the sculpturing much better than gloss surfaces so I'm I'm keen on I like to see form you know we talked about the Porsche and how simplistic and, and voluptuous it is I, I really like to see form and some of these paint finishes really emphasize form rather than rather than just you know it's a glossy paint finish so we've also heard a lot of talk over the years of plastic glazing. I know that's kind of an oxymoron. You know, polycarbonate windows. Maybe not the windshield, but side glass, maybe backlight and all. Do you it see does that offer happen? You, it does offer you a great flexibility in, in, especially as you get around to the rear of the car and how you integrate, how you integrate the side glass, the rear glass and the lights, especially if they're up high. It does give you a great deal of flexibility in design. Um, to be able to use um, different forms of uh, in that area. So has Ford done that in any design anywhere in the world yet? Um, we have used um, that in, in different different products in the past. But I think as we move forward, I think we're understanding these these material finishes and what we how can how can we push the boundaries of the capability of the material. So um, I think it's a I think it's a real positive. And, of course, you can watch that entire show right now on our website. And this wraps up today's report. Thanks for watching, and please join us again tomorrow.